So today I'll be discussing total knee replacement and robotic assisted surgery. So when patients show up to my clinic with knee pain, and if it's related to arthritis, meaning that the surfaces of the bones are worn out, the treatment for this is typically conservative, which is therapy, steroid injections, uh, visco supplementation, which is lubrication that goes inside the knee to help lubricate the knee and possibly help with the pain. If all that is done and the patient is still having pain, then the surgical option of a total knee replacement or total knee arthroplasty is discussed. If uh, once that's all been discussed and the patient understands the risks and the benefits of surgery, uh, and if they decide to proceed with surgery, then it would be a knee replacement. Uh, and a knee replacement is, I have a, a model here, but it's, <clears throat> here's a model of the knee with the knee replacement uh, in place. So this is the femur or your thigh bone. This is your tibia, which is your leg bone, and then this is your kneecap in the front of the knee. Um, so a knee replacement is you have the metal component on the femur, which is your thigh bone, and then you have the metal component on the tibia, and then a plastic spacer in between the two where the articulation occurs. The idea with uh, knee replacement is that you're getting rid of the arthritic surface, which is a source of your pain, uh, typically with arthritis, uh, and then it's replaced with metal and plastic to get rid of the pain. The end goal or the end result of a knee replacement is to get rid of the pain that the patient is having from arthritis. So historically, these have done with different instrumentation, different jigs that are available uh, to place the cuts and the rotation and get the proper sizing of your implant. Uh, relatively newer technology such as robotic assisted surgery has been made available and the system that I use um, utilizes a CT scan of the knee before surgery so once the decision is made for total knee replacement a CT scan is ordered to get the exact shape of the femur and the tibia for each individual patient and see what the deformity is and what the size is of the entire knee to help get an idea of the types of implants and the positioning uh, for these implants. So the CT scan is obtained preoperatively um, then during surgery uh, the incision is made as it normally is for knee replacement and the robot along with the software is used to determine where to place your cuts. So with knee replacement surgery, let me get these implants out, but these are with the cuts already made in the knee. So you can imagine that each individual person has different anatomy and different deformity. Some patients have a bigger angulation this way and then some patients have a bigger angulation in that way. The benefit of robotic assisted surgery is that you have the CT scan done beforehand. So when you're doing your surgery, before you make your cuts, you can template, meaning to place your implants where you want on the knee. And after you place them, you range your knee, meaning you move it, um, you flex it and extend it to see if your ligaments on the outside are balanced. Uh, the You wanna have a balanced knee because you don't want more forces on one end versus the other because this could be be a source of post-operative pain. So the idea with the knee replacement is you want to uh, replace the arthritic surface with metal and plastic and have all the soft tissues around the knee uh, be as close to as balanced as possible. So with robotic assisted surgery you're able or I'm able to uh, place the cuts wherever I want to and then range the knee and in real time get an assessment and a feel for the ligaments and see how they are based off of where I place the cuts. So you'll see in the videos, uh, you'll see the saw connected to the arm of the robot uh, and then I'm using that to make the cuts. But that's already um, after the fact where I was intraoperatively, I um, determined where to place the cuts in such a way to get that, that perfect balance. So before you see in this video, intraoperatively already made the decision and the calculations of where to place those cuts. So um, on top of having the cuts determined uh, intraoperatively in real time, the robot also keeps you in the plane where you want to make your cuts. So if you make your cuts at whatever angle you make, the robot doesn't let you deviate more than one degree from that specific angle. So that's another benefit of, of the surgery is, is tailored to each individual knee and to each individual patient uh, in such a way that you can balance everything out and already have everything set up as far as your implant sizing and positioning goes to have the minimum amount of soft tissue that you would have to release.
Um, so you'll see in these next couple clips, um, small little uh, snippets of some surgery that I've done for a knee replacement with the robot.